and Sabini will fancy himself as the man to beat. Emmanuel Assemi, Cameroon, have uh, never taken a medal of any colour in this event, but Assemi certainly has a chance. This really is an open field in the men's 100 metres, and we're about to meet the two home athletes. And the loudest cheer will surely go to the next man into the arena. And the Alexander Stadium welcomes Nathaniel Mitchell Blake. All the home athletes have talked about the lift they've given by this crowd. What a semi final was for Mitchell Blake. Took the victory in his semi final, third fastest time overall. Let's see how fired up he is, but Jeremiah Azu for Wales, the British champion. Azu's coming away, the start of the gods in the semi final. He will surely try, he gets out so fast. But can he hang on? A PB of 10 1 5 in the semis. He needs that and perhaps more again. Rohan Browning of Australia makes up the lineup, which is eight athletes, eight different countries. There are a couple of curiosities about this final. That hasn't happened since 1994 with eight different countries competing in the final. Nobody from Jamaica, no sprinters from the Caribbean at all. And that's the first time since 1986, and it was a Caribbean boycott of Edinburgh in 86. I think also that Botswana would be the quickest man in the Commonwealth at the moment, and the staggering talent, the 19-year-old, just turned 19, of Letzile Tabogo, who's running in the world under 20, he's run 9.91 in... The main such noise in that final of the women's 10,000 metres, and I've also quiet. Azamati, Abeka, Manyala, Sambini, Asemi, Mitchell Blake, Azu and Browning for the final of the men's 100 metres. champion in the 100 meters so well known so well used to taking titles in the middle distance and beyond but they have the quickest man in the commonwealth here tonight in Ferdi Omanyala and from that start Sambini others were trying to get Johnson no one was catching him no no one was catching him it's, I mean, he, he's got a great start he's very compact Sometimes he gets a great start, sometimes he doesn't, but he's been pretty consistent this year with everything that uh, has gone on with him. World Championships getting in a couple of hours before that heat. This is his opportunity here, and he took advantage of it, just led this race from start to finish. Akani Sambini, so much experience, been in fifth and sixth place in so many World Championships and Olympic finals, got a really good start over on uh, Amanyala's right side, but it didn't bother him at all. He was able to come through. He looked relaxed from the very beginning. It was interesting seeing Amanyala and Sambini sort of bumping knuckles right there on the stop line as they were trying to figure out the start situation. You look right there and you see that actually coming out of that drive phase, Amanyala had a little bit of a dip, a little bit of a, a misstep there, but recovered well. Didn't panic and stayed with it here and still led this race from start to finish. Sambini, the reigning champion, relegated to second place, but still a medal. But the Sri Lankan, that's a really good performance there. He's been pretty consistent with his time for all year. To come in here and get a for his heat and was all at sea in those World Championships, but all is forgotten now because he is the Commonwealth champion. Sabini with the silver, a bacon with the bronze, and Jeremiah Zhu 10 1 9 down in fifth. Again, he could have perhaps threatened the medals after that semi final performance, but you saw the replays. Nathaniel Mitchell Blake never got into it. Not sure if he was injured or was just pulling up out of sheer frustration that he was not there at all and couldn't deliver, but uh, all that will become clear later on. Oh,